Hi, I am Ashley Victoria Robinson, and I am here on behalf of comicbook.com to tell you all about the Deadpool movie. But wait, doesn't the Deadpool movie not come out until February 12th? Well, that is a true and scientific fact, my friend, but I was fortunate enough to get to a surprise screening in Los Angeles, and I have already seen the whole thing. I'm gonna break this down for you. Good, the bad, and a final conclusion. All right, right off the top, you wanna know the good thing about the Deadpool movie? It is made for fans. It has the language you want, it has the violence you want, it has the sexuality you want, and it has the talking straight to the camera that you want. Remember when there was a petition going around saying that there should be a PG-13 cut of this movie so that some lady could take her eight-year-old son to it? Let me assure you, there is no PG-13 cut available anywhere in this movie. There's no PG cut. It is straight R, shoot for the moon, right off the beginning, bang, 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 bang. Ryan Reynolds nails this well, modern classic character, shall we say, from Marvel. We got appearances by Stan Lee in a very, shall we say, adult situation, and Rob Liefeld. He also gets a name drop later on, which is kind of funny. They are treated with the same irreverence that Deadpool treats everybody else in the Marvel Universe, so not only does it feel appropriate, but it's also a ton of fun. Right off the bat, we have Ryan Reynolds talking right to you, right to the camera, right to all of his best friends out in the world. Even the X-Men characters who are often with him at the time, like Colossus, will address the fact that he's not talking to them, but talking to the audience. And Deadpool just kind of, you know, shrugs it off like he's supposed to. The fight choreography is amazing. They do a lot of slowing it down, not in the kind of overused way that you would think of in a lot of modern action movies, but more to highlight the work that these people have done. Not only does this speak to Deadpool's like talent and his true tenacity as a mercenary slash assassin slash general badass, but it looks really cool on camera. And it's something that's really missing in the modern era where you get a lot of shaky cam for the sake of shaky cam during a fight. Like, let me see the fight choreography. Deadpool does that and does a great job. Morena Bakarin. Morena Bakarin plays Deadpool's love interest, Vanessa. She's a classic character from the comic books. Morena Bakarin, she's beautiful. She's amazing. She's a great actress. She's great in this, in this role. She's a lot of fun. She can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ryan Reynolds. I would even say that she's a little bit better than Ryan Reynolds, but that's my opinion. Uh, she's a very valuable character, and her story and her relationship with Wade is what really drives the movie forward. They have this fake idea that this is a romance movie and we're re releasing it at Valentine's Day, but that really... That really is true. That is a big part of what carries the storyline forward is this kind of romantic subplot. Vanessa is the reason for all the drama. She's the reason that Wade, when he you know, gets cancer while he goes to try to cure it. She's used later on to lure him out when he's Deadpool. She's a very important figure. So you have this weird level of like heart and true emotion underlying these really badass fight scenes and this kind of mouthy character that you're used to seeing in the comic books. I really, really enjoy that aspect of the movie. In all fairness, I want to talk about something that I thought was not treated particularly well in Deadpool. I think that the women were not treated with the utmost respect. There is a moment where Deadpool turns to the camera and he says, hey, I know that your boyfriend dragged you here, blah, 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 implying that 51% of the world's population wouldn't want to come to this movie on your own. You can say to me that that's Deadpool, but I think that that's a poor way to think about this and that if some of the characters like Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Al have been given more screen time and treated more like human beings, that the movie really could have been something special. Because as it stands right now, it's a fun movie with a lot of fun moments and a fun supporting cast. Colossus is a little bit weird because he's different from the X-Men continuity, but TJ Miller as Weasel's great. Al nails her scenes. So there's a lot of good going on in Deadpool. The final thing, the thing you need to know about Deadpool is, like I said at the beginning, this movie is made for you, the Deadpool fans. It understands the elements that you've come looking for it. It casts a lot of really funny, dramatic, and comedic actors to play against each other in a way that builds up the drama and builds up the narrative moving it forward. And it hits on a lot of Easter eggs that you're going to want to see here. However, I would say that if you or someone else that you know is thinking about going to see this movie and you like this little bubble here. This little bubble here is all of the Marvel and DC and mainstream superhero stuff. I include the Netflix stuff in here despite its grittiness. This is what you're used to. Deadpool's all the way over here in a different universe. 
And I think that feeling of, you know, pre-existing knowledge of the character and familiarity with the type of subject matter that you're going to come up against, it might be abrupt and it might be really, really jarring. I'm not saying that there's no way that you could ever possibly go in and enjoy it, but I think you are less likely to enjoy it. If this isn't already a character who's like wackiness and fourth wall breaking, it's something that you've really come to know and love. On behalf of myself, Ashley Victoria Robinson, and everybody here at comicbook.com, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Go down and click that subscribe button so you can see everything that we have going on here. Go over to comicbook.com. I hope you enjoy it. I hope I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. The Merc with the Mouth is here for you. He's here for me. And chimichangas, things are about to get crazy. Be safe, make good choices.